Welcome back, welcome back. It's another edition of Boozing with Jude, and you have to forgive me my casual clothes. Remember, I'm not a bartender. I'm just somebody who sits at home and makes drinks and drinks them. So I'm sitting at home. It's a sunny, sunny day, but it's cold. It's too cold for me, and I'm just keeping bundled up. So today, I'm making a quintessential autumn drink. Not at all. But I found these really good blackberries in the store, and they were like really like nice looking and they were you know on sale from mexico hecho in mexico and they're yummy so i thought okay it doesn't make sense to do a summer drink but let's do a blackberry sour a blackberry bourbon sour and let's use the blackberries because they're sweet they're yummy who says we can't have drinks with fruit in them when winter comes not i so no real big history to this drink. People took blackberries like they take a lot of other fruits and, you know, made a sidecar, made, you know, the blackberry smash, blah, blah, blah. I like the idea of the whiskey sour with blackberries, with the bourbon sour. So um, we're going to try it. I have to confess, I haven't had it, but I'm going to have it now. All right. So basically, this is a simple drink. You just need your favorite bourbon. You know, find a good bourbon. I suppose you could use rye, but I'm going to use bourbon today. Um, a, a little bit of simple syrup, some some freshly squeezed. Don't be buying that store stuff. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, and if you want, and I'm going to do it, an egg white to make the sour. Plus, of course, blackberries, fresh. Don't take those frozen ones. I suppose if you're making like a frozen slushy drink, I don't know, you could do it. But you know, I saw these, and what can I say? So, um, you're going to need a muddler. We're going to muddle, 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 I can't say it. We're going to muddle. I love to muddle. So basically, um, piece of cake, right? So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do first. We're going to take, take four or five, you know, these are big. So I'm going to take four big blackberries, yummy big blackberries. And I'm going to garnish with blackberries too. So you're going to want a few more. Just drop them in the old pitcher. Oh, what the heck? Let's do that little small one. So five. And um, I'm just going to put in the non-alcoholic stuff minus the egg first and muddle it. So I'm going to put in my freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we're going to do one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice to help muddle it along. Yummy. I just squeezed it right off the lemon. Freshly squeezed lemon from the Amalfi Coast of Italy. Not even close from the grocery store up the road. What can I say? Um, then we're going to take a little bit, just a half an ounce, of our simple syrup. And simple syrup, as you know, is just uh, equal parts of sugar and water, and they're just heated up until the sugar melts, and then Bob Jonkle, and uh, you can make a lot of that, and then you can keep it in a bottle for about three weeks in your fridge. And so I'm going to use some of that. And then we're going to muddle these. Don't put the egg white in it yet. We're going to do that at the end. Well, not at the end, but you know. Okay. So take your muddler, and then just, you know, softly don't muddle the crap out of them but softly you know press down and get your berries smashed in there and so that they're you know not huge so that they're kind of smashed berries right does that make sense yeah just muddle muddle them until you you know get kind of a purpley looking juice and uh then when we we're going to double strain this we're going to need that muddler again because this uh, these blackberries are going to kind of you know keep the stuff from going in the glass um, I've been caught out before when I've tried to strain stuff where I've like muddled fruit or something at the bottom and then you know I'm looking at you guys and I've got it all stuck in the, like in the strainer and it's not going anywhere and then I had to like turn the camera off and and you know get it pressed down and get into the glass. This time I might be prepared. I don't know. We'll see. So um, it's taken me a while to get this. I just want to make sure I get all the juice out of the blackberries and like I said they're pretty big. Mmm, okay. Who doesn't like a good blackberry? Well, some people don't, in which case, don't drink this. Don't drink this because you won't like it. So, um, there's blackberry brandies and cognac. Some people make some lovely blackberry drinks with that too, but I don't have any blackberry favorite flavored liqueurs, um, but they exist. Hey, Max, what's happening? Max is here. It's about time for her to go for her big exercise walk. There she is. You probably heard her shaking off. And uh, she'll start whining any second now, ah, trust me. Okay, so we've got that muddled down to where I want it. And now I'm going to add in the other ingredients, which are one and a half ounces of your favorite bourbon. I'm going to use Bullet today. 
how do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it, folks? You should know. Like the ammunition, son. Okay. So I became kind of a fan, become kind of a fan of the bullet. It's um it's good. They're rye and they're bourbon, and it's relatively affordable. I mean, like any other alcohol, you can pay up to like hundreds of dollars for, for bourbon. And and I didn't really know bourbons when I started like making drinks on TV. Um, so I asked a friend and, and uh, he suggested Bullet and you know I, I have, I've had other bourbons and I quite like it. I like some of the craft bourbons I've tried but Bullet seems to be like a good deal so to speak and uh, does the trick. Okay so we got everything in there with the exception of the egg white. Really good. Now you don't have to put a whole egg white in here but um, just, to, just enough to froth it up. So for those of you who've never made a drink with an egg white, don't be afraid but if you are you don't have to put it in. It's just at a really nice sour. I mean, you don't taste the egg. It makes it frothy. It makes it foamy. Okay? That's what it is. And, um, you know, no big deal. It's great. So put the egg white in. Make sure that it's um, been kept cool. It's fresh. And then it's been kept cool, like 45 degrees in the fridge. Or buy a pasteurized eggshell. Or, no, don't, don't touch the eggshell. What am I saying? Buy pasteurized eggs. You can use them. Or leave it up. I, I just like the foaminess of it. So um, use it or don't. But I'm going to use it today. Um, I also, if you're if you're like older or you have some underlying, you know, health conditions, um, you can leave the egg out. I mean, you know, I, there's no point in risking it, but I, I never worry too much about it. I've never yet gotten sick off of a drink with an egg white in it, a raw egg white, and I've had plenty. Just saying, just saying. Now, if you do the egg white, we're going to do what's called a dry shake, um, and that's going to shake. We shake it first without ice because we want to emulsify that egg white in there. We want to get it broken up and um, you know, it's, it's just, and it gets it foamier too. So, so make sure that, you know, if you have a Boston shaker, you get that cover on tight because, you know, it's the coldness of this that, that really seals it and we don't have the ice in there yet. So do a good dry shake and, and to shake it till the cows come home and do what we can here. See, I can feel that cover slipping all over. And last thing I want all over me is a bunch of egg. Egg on my face? No thing. Okay, so um, so then we're going to put our ice in there, and uh, let's just get this. I've got my ice chilling, and I've got my little old-fashioned glass that we'll use for it. Um, we're going to serve this on the rocks, so why not? You know, so here we go. Give it a shake now that it's cold. I have to admit, I'm exhausted. Whew. But I really want to shake that good because I want to get the berries and the egg mixed up in there good. And see, you can see that when you put ice in there, as I said, it just makes that cap stick pretty good. Okay. Whew, man. I'm not exercising today because I just got my exercise. All right, so we're going to take our glass. We're going to double strain. Now, take your Hawthorne strainer and we're going to take... Oh, you know, we want to put ice in our glass, don't we? I said we're going to put it on the rocks here. You know, I don't know. I can't say it's late in the day or anything, that's for sure. I just, you know, sometimes I just, I wasn't born for TV. I mean, look at this face. It's not like you know, a TV face, but, you know. So sometimes I get a little mixed up and I don't know what I'm doing. But, so we're going to double strain it. So I'll see. This is your Hawthorne strainer. If you want, you can do what's called closing the gate. There's like this little thing here. See this little thing? You can push it. And it's all springy and it closes the gate. So it just keeps a lot of the stuff from coming out of the pitcher. And we're going to double strain so that we get all the, um, the sort of blackberry seeds and stuff, you know, caught in the strainer. There. That's working pretty good. Yeah, excellent. And it's kind of foamy. Okay. So what's left? There's not much left, much room left to even like push that down. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna put this old stuff in there, drip it all over my table, and get that out of the way. Now, just for fun, because it is a sort of a whiskey sour, I'm going to uh, take my a little bottle of the Angostura bitters from Venezuela, and we've talked about the Angostura aromatic bitters. And just put a little, I mean, you could put it in the drink and mix it, or just, I'm just going to put some on the top. Not like a 
not like a true whiskey sour where it's like really beautiful because it's you know it's a beautiful color like this and i'm going to garnish it of course what do you think how about some blackberries so we'll take two of these big massive blackberries and just put them right through here wow that's a full drink ladies and gentlemen here we go the blackberry whiskey sour i'm gonna i'm gonna dedicate it to you know my fellow midwesterners because you know what winter's here and we're not liking it okay it's only autumn but you know what just too cold so try one of these it will remind you a little bit of summer and the bourbon will keep you warm so salute who says blackberries and bourbon don't go together not i that is a really nice drink you know what it's a pretty pretty purple drink yes it is it's purple and the blackberries, if you can get some good blackberries, where well, apparently you can, apparently because I got them. And, and you know what? You feel like having a little fruit drink and, you, you know, just make it up. It's easy as pie. So, folks, there we go. Um, remember, again, you can leave the egg out. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Boozing with Jude. Always good to see you. Thanksgiving's coming up. Who knows what I'll do before then, but I'll do something. I know that for a fact. So good to see you. Uh, have a good one. Stay safe and take care. Bye.